Hi everyone, in this video I am going to talk about how to create an email account in Pega. First of all, why do we need an email account in Pega? We have a scenario like I have to send an email notification to the user upon submitting the work object or else user is going to provide an information over the email and then we have to update our work object with that information. In these two scenarios, we are going to use an email account in our Pega. Now, to create an email account, click on configure. Under the configure, we have a integration. Under the integration, we have email. Click on email accounts. Then, create an email account. account name and we have to select the account provider here I am going to select the Google Gmail as a account provider now we have to configure the sender and receiver information sender information we are going to use to send an email notification to the users and receive information suppose if the user is responding over the email right to receive that information into opega we are going to use the receiver configuration now let's configure the sender configuration here And display this we are using the SMTP and here we are not going to provide the our email address password. To do that we have to open manage account and then go to security. search for app password here we will be creating a one app to get a password related to our app this is the password for our application and reply to this field we will be using suppose I have been sending an email using this user ID and if the user is trying to respond back to by clicking on reply to or reply all if you want to make any specific email address in the two right in that scenario we are going to configure the reply to field now let's configure the receiver here i will be using the same sender user id and password now click on search The connection status is failed. Let's check why it has been failed. To do that, go to the records. Under records, we have integration records category. Under the resource category, we will be having an option for email account. There, we will be able to see the all the email account instances. Click on text completely. Exception for connecting email server could not come. And let's check the sender configuration.
Let's try to change the sender port. Yes, we were able to connect to the email server. Try for receive a test. We were able to connect to the email service successfully for the sender and receiver configuration. This is how we will be checking the email account configuration and the test connectivity of sender and receiver. If both the test connectivity is successful, then only we will be able to use this account to send or receive an email. Thanks for watching my videos. Please do subscribe to my channel.